Hi, everybody. I'm Sandy Sandler, the that is one of my the creator of the Bodabra, and I want to welcome you all to this Monday Bodabra Facebook Live. And for those of you who aren't familiar, we do a half an hour show every single Monday, and the topics change. But today we're going to do some really, really amazing and super simple wedding designs. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I also want to take a minute to ask you to please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, which is YouTube Today, and follow us here on Facebook. So let's get started. I'm going to make a really pretty chair or pew bow. So I'm going to take, um, whoopsie daisy, we clip everything up to make it easier for me to um, get everything done. So here I've got um, a pretty wide mesh. It's probably about almost 27 inches. It's almost three quarters of a yard. And so all I'm going to do, and it's as far as the width of it, it's about 20 inches. So all I'm going to do here is just fold this in half. Oh, before I do that, I better take my Bodabra bow wire and fold that in half. And anybody who is a member, oh, thank you for sharing, Edna. That's amazing. So fold that in half and lay it down into the Bodabra and just tuck the ends underneath. Then I'm going to just take this and lay it down into my Bodabra. In fact, I'm going to lay it going the other way. And then I have um, this piece of tulle that is about, let's see, it's about um, one yard and about one and a half yards. And I'm knotting the ends with, they've got, they're already knotted with like a love knot. And um, so now I'm just going to lay this in. So we're just kind of making some really pretty tails. Hey, Marlene, you got right to it. And then everybody who's a member of the Bodabra fan gallery, don't forget the special note that I put in there on a little notice about 45 minutes ago. So if you're a member of the Bodabra fan gallery, just make sure that you double check what I said in the note there for a second chance to win. So um, now what I'm going to do is actually those of, many of you have seen me make my own ribbon. Okay, um, so I want you, to, you guys to know that we just were live and then we weren't live. So we're going to do this again and try it again. Um, let me look at this here. It looks like did we have the, oh, we have the part two is live. Okay, sorry, a little bit of confusion. So um, just for those of you who are getting started, I've laid my three tails and we've, we're, we've put love knots on the end and we've laid those into our Bodabra. And then I'm making this um, mesh ribbon. It's so pretty. So I take a white ribbon and then make, use my peel and stick to make this. And I'll show you how I made it in a sec. And this is about two thirds of a yard. So I'm just going to take the right side of the ribbon, put that down into the Bodabra, bring it back around, take the right side, put that into the Bodabra, and then lay that. Oh, Edna, you're our first one. Good on ya. And so now what I've done is I've taken my roll of peel and stick and I've laid a strip here. And it's what I love about this is it's a clear and you can, I mean, this is permanent. It can even go in the washing machine, even though I don't think you'd really want to be putting your um, peel and, I mean, your ribbon with the rhinestone mesh on it in the washing machine. So um, I'm going to take the right side. And what I love about this, and I'm just going to lay this here, is first of all, it's clear. And second, it's once you, whoops, let me get that fixed. Once you press it down, it's permanent. It's not going to come apart. So I really love that. And I love how you can make different, um, different ribbons out of doubling um, different kinds of ribbon. So it just, for me, it's just a, another way to make a beautiful bow. And I'll lay this down in here. And then I'm going to just take this mesh here, which is one of our Bodabra meshes, I can't remember what it's called. 
and then some of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. I've got, I used about 12 inches of each and push that down into here. And then, <clears throat> oh, Annette, you won the green ribbon. How cool. That's so awesome. It's a really pretty roll of green ribbon that we'll send to you. Um, and now, and that for everybody who isn't aware of what I'm talking about, we had a special going on. This is why you want to be a member of the Bodabra Fan Gallery. Um, that tonight on tonight's live, the third person that said I heart Bodabra Fan Gallery won a free roll of ribbon. She didn't actually say I heart Bodabra. What did she say? Then who said she was a winner? Okay, well, that's... Number two is Connie Clark, so we're waiting for the third person to say it. Yeah. No, I think, I think, okay, um, well, we'll figure it out. So she wasn't, but maybe somebody else said it on the first one. Edna, yeah. Edna said it, and then... Okay, Connie you guys, we're, we're all... Annette just said, hey, from Alabama. Oh, okay. Um, well, then we still have one more person who can win, because we're going to let Annette win. Um, we're going to just do a special prize for Annette just because. But with that green ribbon, um, so I, I'm going to send you something special, Annette. What? Remy? Remy's making faces at me. Okay. Um, so see, now you have this beautiful bow that would be a really pretty pew bow or chair bow. Let me know what you guys think. So now, and I'll put it up here so you can see it under, oh, I'm... How am I? You're good. Okay. So anyway, so now, okay, there you go. Okay, so now we're going to go on to our next project. So we're still waiting for one more person. Okay, Terry says she messed up. Okay, so let me explain what's going on with all this mess up that's going on. Is Terry, we're supposed to have the third person that said from the Bodabra fan gallery, you have to be a member. I Heart Bodabra Fan Gallery is going to, was going to win, or is going to win, a roll of green ribbon. Um, Terry counted wrong, so it's fine, no big deal. We're actually going to just give a special prize out because of our mistake, but we're still waiting for our third person to say, I Heart Bodabra Fan Gallery. So now I'm going to make a cute little wristlet. Okay, so now I'm going to fold that in half. And then fold it in half, put that down in here, and then take um, some tool. And let's see how long we have here. We've got about a yard, and then we've got um, two thirds of a yard. Okay, who is? Linda Powell. Oh, Linda Powell, you're our, the winner from Bodabra Fan Gallery. Awesome. So you're going to win that roll of green, green and black ribbon. It's really pretty. So we're going to scrunch all this down in here. So we're going to get this straight. It's a new thing that I just implemented today on a whim, which I have too much time now that we're all sheltered in. I have too much time to think of things to do. And then when I decide to do them, I put it all out on the Bodabra team and confuse everybody. So then what I'm gonna do is take these pieces of rhinestone mesh. We've cut them in two rows. Our Bodabra rhinestone mesh is um, eight rows. So basically what we've done is taken five and a half inches and we've just cut these pieces here. And we're just gonna put these down in here and take this and put this down. And so, um, does everybody uh, that's on have the Bodabra app? Are you familiar with it? And now, and then also, if you guys could please share, that would be so amazing. It means so much to me when everybody shares. So, I'm going to scrunch it all down there. And pull that through, pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra and separate the ends, bring it around to the back. Um, hold on one sec. And then, so basically, I, you know, because of everything that's going on right now with the corona, uh, Wuhan virus, I just want 
to try to make things really awesome for our Bodabra community. So we're doing special um, unscheduled lives. So now I have this, this wristlet. So this is great, hopefully, now who knows if it'll actually happen, but this is great for a wedding, but it's also great for prom. So I'm just gonna take the back of this, feed this through one side with my Bodabra bow wire, and then feed it back through another side here. And so now I can just tie this wristlet, I mean this beautiful bow, to the wristlet and tie a knot. And you're not in shelter in place yet. Okay, well that's awesome, Edna. I'm jealous. We're shelter in place and um, you know the only pl things that are open are grocery stores basically. So um, Anyway, so here you have this really pretty, super easy to make wristlet. So I hope you guys like this. And so now we're gonna go on to our next bow. And um, let's put this aside. And let's see what we're gonna make next. I guess this could be a really pretty pubo. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna make is a centerpiece. So I'm just gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, fold it in half, and lay this down into the Bodabra. So where are you guys from? And, oh, Gloria, you love the app. Thank you. I was so excited when we did get it, and we're gonna be updating it soon, but it's gonna be just a little bit of a, maybe a couple months, 28 inches, and we're just gonna go to the middle, lay this down into the Bodabra. Gloria, thank you for sharing. And we're just gonna lay this down into the Bodabra, and, now um, I'm going to, let's see, this piece is 23 or 24 inches. Take the right side of the ribbon, put that down, bring it back around, take the right side, put it down and scrunch everything in there. And then take the right side, scrunch that down, bring this around, take the right side, put that in and then come down here and so are you guys all able to buy um, like all your, let's see what we're doing here. So we're gonna put this in and, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a, um, no, we're gonna actually make a big loop here. So we'll put this side in and this side in here and then just put this in the middle there. Whoops, I think I did something. Funk. Oh, I know what I did. I didn't put the right side down. So we're going to make a big loop here and bring that back around and bring that through and that through. So I just basically had a piece that wasn't quite the right length, so I had to manipulate it. And then here, I'm going to do one of our boutique bow pat things here. So what I do is take the right side of the ribbon and I put this down into the bodabra. Then I'll fold this back over, take the right side of the ribbon, put that in, and then I'm gonna make an X. So I'm gonna take this and X it over, take the right side of the ribbon, put that down into the Bodabra. Then I'm gonna take the lower part of my X and go to the center and scrunch that in, and then take this top one and scrunch that in. So now I have my four loops with no tail and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with this ribbon. So first I'm gonna fold it in half and then lay the top right side into the middle. Hi, Linda. Then take the right side and scrunch that down. And again, I'm gonna make another X, fold it over, take the right side, put that in here. And there we go. And then I have um, this piece here, which is two and a half inches by nine inches, and we're just gonna scrunch that down in here. And then I just take that, this end to hide it and scrunch that back. And then I have a piece of this ribbon that is three inches by three inches, and we're just gonna scrunch that down too. And just put that down in there. And then what I'm gonna do is, um, I don't see my Bodabra wand, but no worries. I'm just gonna pull this through. It... Oh, okay, thanks, Remy. Pull it out, separate the ends, bring it 
back to the back, tie a knot, pull it tight while it's still, and then I'm just going to separate out all my loops. This ribbon is a really cool ribbon because you can, it's sort of a stretchy ribbon, so you can sort of mold it to be as thin or as wide as you want it. And I like the idea that I can make my loops wider, so I think it adds a bigger dimension to the loops in the bow. And I think this could make a really pretty event bow or, um, you know, wedding for like a black and white wedding. The silver and black just is so pretty. So let me know what you think. So now I'm going to put this one away. And I think I promised a centerpiece next. So let's grab this box here. Got so many boxes with everything in it. Um, and I'm going to take my Bodabra, put my peel and stick away, and we'll fold this in half and lay this down. Oh, thanks you guys for all the love and the flowers. Thank you, um, Edna. That real, it really is a cool ribbon. So on this one, I'm starting with my platinum colored mesh, which I think is really pretty. And I have two pieces. And they are, I believe they're 10 inches, yeah, 10 inches wide by about 27 inches long. So I'm just going to scrunch, go to the middle, and just scrunch this into the Bodabra. And um, we do have lots of Bodabras in stock. So as a little plug, um, if anybody was thinking about a Bodabra, definitely now's the time to get it. So scrunch this down in here, since if you're sheltered home, it's a great thing to do is start preparing for the holiday decor um, or weddings or graduations, if they're even having them this year. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. So um, I know my nephew is in California and they're statewide, like shelter down, stay in place and everything is closed. So let's see, this is about uh, 33 inches long and they're not getting to really enjoy any of the senior experiences, so that's sort of sad. Or do any of you have kids that are um, having the same situation? So this is 34 inches by two and a half inches. And then um, this, these two pieces are two and a half, so those are both the same. Then these two pieces are 21 inches. So we're just gonna scrunch those down there. And what happened? Oh, here's the other piece. <laughs> Lay that in here and I've already dovetailed the ends and then now I have these beautiful oops, um, picks and I so I've got three picks and I'm just going to lay these down all together here and for those of you who know these are the beautiful Catherine collection picks that we have and then now I have a little bit more of my silver ribbon uh, as Remy? You can order it from bodabra.com or you can order it from amazon.com. So um, now this piece of ribbon is, let's see, about a yard. And I think you can also order from michaels.com, 25 inches. And those are the places where I'm absolutely positive that you can get the bodabras. In fact, we just got some in stock, which I was really excited about. Um, and we have some really cool ribbon that we are going to be um, putting on sale. Um, plus, on our Ultimate Bodabra kit, which includes the mini Bodabra and the regular Bodabra, the hair bow tool and ruler, and um, three rolls of Bodabra scrunch and a hundred yard roll of the. Um, I'm going to fold this over here and then scrunch this down there. Um, 100 yard roll of the Bodabra bow wire, and then of course it comes with your free VIP membership. So it's a good time, it's you know, to take advantage of that now too. So I'm going to take my peony, put that in on top, and then I just think this is such a pretty pink peony. Would work really for any time of the year. Um, and so, oh, but on our Bodabra. Um, ultimate kit that includes everything I just said, we do right now, we do have free shipping, which is kind of cool. So we're going to go around to the back and tie a knot. 
and let's tie another knot. And this just becomes an absolutely beautiful and really simple to make um, centerpiece. Let's pull this around here. And I hope you guys like this. Thank you, Edna. Oh, Jeannie, yeah, we had, we're actually starting. It was kind of windy here to begin with, but it's starting to get really beautiful. I can't wait for spring to really start. So there you have. I hope you guys like this. Can you see this from the above? Um, okay, cool. All right, there we go. So we're going to go on to the next project. So let's see. Our next project is going to be... Um, I'm going to do a pretty bow. And then after this, we're going to do um, a hair piece. So I'm going to just put this over here and get started. Oh, these paper clips are so good for preparing, especially if you're in the business and you're doing any kind of assembly line um, projects. So we have, this is one of our Bodabra meshes. And let's see, we have a five inch wide by um, five eighths of a yard or 23 inches. And I'll take some Bodabra bow wire and, oh my God, I'm so, so jealous that you have daffodils. We can, we don't get, have, this just, our climate doesn't allow for daffodils. So we get them once a year. I can go to Trader Joe's and buy my daffodils. <laughs> so now I'm going to lay these down. And then I have, this is a 12 inch wide by 16 inch um, mesh. And I'm just going to lay this down in here. And I have another piece that's the same size. And we're just going to lay this in here. So it just gives it a real fluffy um, look. And then we have our silver uh, mesh. Again, this is that same Bodabra ribbon or Bodabra silver mesh, glitter mesh. And that's six inches wide by 28 inches. And take the right side of the ribbon, scrunch that in. Come back over, take the right side of the ribbon, scrunch it in, push everything in there. And then I have this beautiful pearl ribbon. And I've got, let's see, it's like a two and a half, or no, I think it's only two inches wide. And it's got the pearls on the side. And let's see, so I have one yard and I have um, a little over two yards. So this is the right side. So I'm just going to twist this, scrunch it back, and we're just going to make a regular bow. And just fold it back and forth. And let's fold it back. So we'll be picking the winner in about three or four minutes. So make sure you're online. And I'm going to do one more project after this. So we'll announce it right when I finish this bow or begin the next project, which is going to be a really pretty little um, hair piece for a wedding. Um, so here we go. Let's put that in here. And then I have um, this really like cute little wedding um, bell garland that you can pretty much get anywhere. Lay this in here, scrunch it down. So if you know anybody who's planning a wedding, Please share, whoops, it looks, what did I do? Here we go. Please share this video with them. And then now um, I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire, bring it back up here, pull it through my slip knot, pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Separate the ends. So we're definitely, just so you guys know, because of um, the coronavirus and a lot of people being shut in, I mean, oh, I'm so grateful to all the first responders. I'm so grateful to um, the people who are, you know, delivering and staying healthy so they can deliver to us. Um, and also the grocery store workers and their families, the families of the first responders and the medical, um, uh, medical professionals who are really helping this whole country through this, the whole world for that matter. And... There you have a really pretty, super simple pubo. So I hope you guys like that. And now, hi Susan. And so now I'm going to take this, put it aside, 
And we're going to make our last bow, which will be um, a little um, headpiece or a headband. So we're going to need um, our Bodabra bow wire. Oh, we have the winner, Linda Atkins. Congratulations. So now I'm going to just fold this in half. And so I'm going to first take my headband. So this is a really cool trick. So you can just stick the headband right into the Bodabra. I'm taking our, um, a web. This is, again, one of our Bodabra um, meshes. And I've got, let's see, how much of this do I have? I've got about 17 inches, and it is five and a half inches wide. And we're just going to, um, let's see, scrunch this down into the Bodabra. And then I have um, this piece of mesh, which is um, seven inches wide by um, 28 inches. And this we just cut from um, a really wide piece of, of, of not mesh, tool. Lay that down in here. Take a piece of our um, rhinestone mesh. And, and this is five inches. So lay this down in here. And then I have, um, and then if, as you hang on for one sec, I'm going to show you guys a really neat trick for getting up glitter. So this is 15 inches by, I believe it's a one inch, one and a half inch ribbon. And I'm just gonna go to the center and we're gonna do that trick with our, um, uh, no I'm not, yes I am. So we're gonna go here and I'm gonna bring this back around and just scrunch that in. And then this, this is gonna be a little bit of a tight squeeze but it's gonna look really pretty. So now, and then I take my bottom X, scrunch it in, and the top X, and I'll fix that out. When I pull it out of my Bodabra, I'm going to take my wand, scrunch everything down, and in just a sec, I promise, I'm going to show you how I get all the glitter off this table so simply. Pull this through, pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra. I'm going to separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and tie a knot and tie another knot and just clip the ends and then what I'm going to do is just as promised shape out my loops and shape these loops so they come out really pretty and then I'm going to take one of my zots which basically um, come from the same place as the um, peel and stick does. And just put that, and this will hold really tight. Put that right in the middle. And then we'll just fluff it out. And you have this really pretty little headband. So it's super simple to make. Now, as promised, I'm going to show you how I can magically get rid of all of this glitter. So I'm just going to get my Bodabra bow wire out of the way. And I'm going to take one of my Brazilian mats. And I'm just going to peel the back off. And this is just so incredible. So I'm just going to peel the back off here. And I think I'm going to peel. Normally it would come off really. Oh, here we go. Okay. And then now I'm just going to go like this and go like this go like that and it this is like magic it's you can see all the glitter coming up and it, it's come you can see it coming up really well on this black so it's literally gone from a full glitter table isn't that cool isn't that amazing i mean i think this is so cool and i believe we have an affiliate link and what I would appreciate if you guys use our links when you go to buy things, because when they're from other websites, we get a little bit. It doesn't cost you any more, but we get a little bit of money that, like a little bit, and I mean a little bit, like pennies. But it does help pay for all of these lives that we do. So isn't that awesome? So we've got all of our glitter all the way gone. So I just want to thank all of you so much for joining me. I want to wish my best to you all. 
And please watch for our special pop-up lives because we're going to be giving away on some of the lives, we're going to be giving away gifts. So I just want to thank you all. Wish you the best. See you next Monday on our live at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 Mountain, 6 Central, and 7 Standard. Take care. Bye.